my new watch is running nicely. Let's have a look. Hey guys, shot here. My new watch is almost done. It's running nicely. <laughs> it took a lot of experiment and trials to get here. But it's going pretty nice right now. <laughs> That is one of my prototype working well. I'm using a 0 0.5 uh, piano wire for the hair spring. The beat, if you look, it's 90 beats per minute. I did different experiments with different length of pin, different springs. This one is a one, 0 0.5 millimeter piano wire. This one is 0 0.4 and a shorter pin didn't quite work well so I'm sticking with the 0 0.5 that's what I have here there's been a lot of changes on the angles of the palette this is the final design that I have here that was some early ones. I did a lot. I did a lot of changes on the lock angle. I'll show you on this sketch here. It's easier to see. Typically, the detached escapement has 15 degrees, 12 to 15 degrees of lock, but I end up with between 15 and 20 degrees. Probably because bigger parts has more inertia. That was what was needed with this clock. <laughs> so this is the beats I'm getting right now. Maybe two minutes fast per 24 hours. The perfect period is a uh, balance between the spring and the weight of the balance. If I stop it, I've got bolts and I have longer bolts and nuts to increase the weight. Pull the stem, I pull the stem out, you can adjust the time. And if I push it in, this I can rewind. And then there's a small second here. This might be confusing for some because it beats 90 times per sec uh, 90 times per minute. So it's weight driven. But, um, I had to use quite a bit of weight. It's three and a half kilos, and it will have a for a drop of one meter for. 12 hours. So if you put a pulley and um, 7 to 8 kilos, you can get it to run for 24 hours. And when I go to put the, the weight back, if, it's, if things go well, it auto starts. That's the quality of this escapement. So the Swiss lever escapement, it's also called detach escapement. The idea is to have the balance wheel most of the time running free from the escapement. So ideally it should be 270 degrees or even 300 degrees. The last thing I want to do is put some springs in this drum so I don't need to have the weight so I can carry it around. <laughs> so I got those springs. Those are from a pull start from a I think, Honda engine. And I think if I use two or three, it should be able to power that clock. So I um, just started experimenting with the spring. And that's a print I did last night. I think not really working well for now. But the idea is test this, 
So I have this prototype that I made earlier. This is this is the minute shaft. The idea is to put the spring to power this here and see how it goes. Pretty much all the parts of this are the same. In this, the, the gear ratio is the same. The escapement frame is the same that I use in here. So it's easier to do the tuning of the balance wheel on this than in here. And once this pair balance and spring is pretty close to what I want, then I can put it in here. <laughs> Next week, hopefully I have this working. Be interesting. A <laughs> couple more things that have been that I probably do. This is a 3D printed hairspring. I don't know if it how well it will work. I don't think it will last as long as a real uh, can of wire metal spring. And still I think that making those springs it's quite interesting. That's kind of how it starts. It's a process. I'll give you the link to the video where you can learn how to do this. <laughs> and once I have all this done, uploaded to my mini factory so you can try on your own, I want to see if I can get this one working. <laughs> That's the size of it. Model 0 0.6 for the gear, for the wallet gear. So we'll see how it goes. I did those gears. That's 0 0.6 model. And let's say they work well. So all this, that's going to be a whole new area of experiment. So stay tuned, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.